So hi guys, uh, magpat tayo ngayon ng succulents, fresh na fresh from the get. So uh, naka naka shirt din ako ngayon, nakaka OTD ako ngayon ng hindi monstera deliciosa yung yung design, hindi gusot gusot. Para happy ako magripat ng aking mga succulents fresh from the get. So here it is. Super excited, super excited, excited na ako makita niyo ayong succulents ko. So sila guys, buhay na buhay. So sabi nila buyer's risk. So in defense of myself, oh my god, nalagas na sila. So I'll try to do my best. So I forgot. I think. I I ordered five five different types of succulents, but I ordered it in two pieces because I know the four. This is like forty piece, forty pesos each because I know the forty pesos will be like very tiny. So I ordered it by two, para I could put it in one pot na dalawa and they will become so lush. So this is one. I think the other partner is already dead. This is um makinoy. Yeah, I'm I'm more of into this type of succulent, yung parang bushy kind of like parang. This is uh, I forgot the name. Ben Ben uh, Jelly. Oh no, this is not jelly beans. Yeah, I have two pieces of this also, but then. Uh, I gave the other one to my to my plant mom, cause she ang mas malaming order. The problem is parang <laughs> mas marami ding namatay sa kanya. So ito is uh, pra, this is like jelly beans. It's so cute sana the jelly beans. But I'll try to still save this. Um this is oh, this is the banana. Yeah, this is the banana. I also have two pieces, but I think I gave the other one <laughs> to my neighbor. This one is campfire. Yeah, I think hopefully they will still be safe. Yeah, tag one piece na lang kasi binigay ko na ata sa neighbor ko kasi nang namatay din yung Because I think mostly sa order niya is the Echeveria type yung parang mga rose cabbage na style yung ganun. Para you know, I feel like they're prone to rotting talaga. And the string of hearts. So I used to have a very lush string of hearts. <sighs> and of course so the thing was it was really lush but and so i was like propagating it and then um, it did not it did not like na na kinat ko ata sila so, yeah it kind of looked sad and then plus the snails parang the snails finished them all so yun every time i see a string of hearts ngayon i really feel so sad because before it's so easy to get string of hearts like super easy and now it's so expensive diba from baguio i think you can get this from for like i don't know i forget last time probably i get it for i think same price now 150 but this is super rare you will find a People price this at 150, and then the variegated. I don't. I don't like. I see variegated, so I never bought variegated string of hearts. But I think it was priced like 250. So actually, I just let it die before. I can say, ah, oh, I can just buy again. Then, yes. Pandemic happens, and it's like, oh my god, it's so crazy to get a string of hearts. So my string of hearts, I cut it into two. Para I give it to my neighbor, yung isa. For that, guys, I prepare ko muna yung mga gagamitin ko. So yung pots at sa yung soil. So anyway, in defense to myself, I'll, I mean, I know there is. I've been like, I don't know. It's this is probably my third than a ship so i really know the risk of shipping through lbc so so anyway kasi yung plant friend ko na neighbor she really wanted to try succulents so. but this is like really the first time na parang bultuhan na ito best so i said like i warned her na no i don't think it's you know it's a good idea na mag ship 
from being get especially succulents because like you know naman the quality of our succulents they are so tiny and that a hindi ko talaga succulent experts so i can't say anything about it but the succulents here kasi as i what i understand parang as they ship they feed on the yung yung leaf nila to somehow like para mabuhay sila while on transit the thing is if mataga syempre maubos na yung mga energy nila and yung mga succulents from what i get from what i understand yung mga ano is super baby so parang magkano lang yung energy nila definitely they cannot stand the long ano oh my god ang laki ng grasshopper in front of me they're scary the grass scary looking and grasshopper okay hey guys so and so i tried to look kasi i have a cns seller than a neighbor and she said she has a better experience with abes parang after three days dalating na daw so i find i was looking for a seller in binget na who can ship through abes so this seller um posted really in her description na uh, she can ship um a best lbc blah 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 so before i place the order i really i'm um, specified to her na a best yung shipping because you know to avoid the problem so she agreed and na, 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 and sabi niya it's gonna be more expensive it's a best and kung i don't mind so blah blah, blah. so there after placing the order i don't after like five days because they need to air dry pa yung yung succulents kasi so i understand na matagal pa yung feedback niya so after five days she messaged me and then she na na ship na niya but then she gave me an lbc lbc receipt so i was like what so the seller has excuses kasi blah 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 and so i was like okay it's just plants it's just plants i don't want to get stressed about it so i let it go and yeah as expected it took like probably no actually this is how lbc works so from manila or from the zone it will usually just take three days para dating para darating na sa cebu the problem i think of course here yung parang i don't know parang it will take um you'll get lucky that you will have your item uh, once it arrives in Cebu like in six days so when they cha transfer from one hair warehouse to another warehouse to another warehouse so but anyway salasada kasi parang once the item is here parang there's a rider na they will send it to a rider and then distribute the stuff dito parang they have to like from one warehouse to another warehouse then so I think doon siya nagtatagal. But you know what? I re I noticed the the legit sellers of succulents actually are not risking it shipping to Visayas and Mindanao. So the ones who are offering or who are accepting orders for outside their area like outside the zone um yeah, they I I don't they're like the newer ones parang na notice ko kasi yung mga old the old um seller na i have experienced before buying from in not necessarily succulents but yung ibang plants kasi i don't really buy succulents hindi kasi ako succulent talaga na person uh are not selling now i don't even see them sell actively selling so i guess that's really the real status of succulents though there's the option yung through through bus through land because I have a friend who who is ordering and then like parang yung mga victory liner but you need to go to carbon to pick it up so yun ang, ang struggle so maybe there's a business for 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 between the from carbon and to the end buyer talaga so anyway magpapad na ako besh so I usually just use straight yung soil mix i got from Liluan and then the pumice yeah for parang yung sa topping lang kasi and then you need this para tuk 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 and then some 
this kind of thing kasi small kasi sila eh and then my oh my cute pots parang so these are not from Benguet but I also like pat them this afternoon it's been with me for a while but too lazy to like repot them I think this will take whole day but this one parang gusto ko na lang sana i-dump in one pot so we'll be get we'll get done <laughs> I'm gonna remove the roots first. So for string of hearts, the thing I know about string of hearts, it, this is actually a pretty easy plant to care. Is um, this is the yung bulb, yung important part ng string of hearts, and then that is where that is what parang it itusok mo sa soil. So I'll just remove the roots, and then after that, and then I'll start patting them. So here we are presenting. It doesn't look bad now when they are patted actually. So was it worth it? So para I think we spend I'm not just gonna say the money, the amount of money. So my point is guys is I think it's better you order the lamp from Cebu from the Cebu resellers unless you are like planning to resell also. So guys, I'll give you an update of my bank, my succulents from being dead. So, now this is the jelly bean. Hopefully this will survive. Oh shook. This This is the effort that, but this looks like something like a jade lip. But and the most alive is the. Uh, crested Nevada. So I think if you wanna take the buyer's risk, I think Crested Nevada is uh, something you can buy. Up, so for update, so I think this one is bye bye and another bye bye. So I think this two did not survive. I don't know with what plant are this, but there's like uh, a leaf. That is like rooting. So hopefully this leaf will also grow. And then this is the other one that is so alive. Boya 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 boya. The string of hearts, which I half this into two. The other half is with my plant mom neighbor. So I don't know if it sounds so petty to be like whining and ranting about the logistics the delays in shipment especially over a very unnecessary item like plants but the thing is it's it's about the seller also right you know the small businesses that kind of like how do you call that rely on the efficiency of the of the logistic or the ship the shipper so the shipping company so my point is that i know there's pandemic and all but I don't know why LBC is not able to like deliver how do you call that on time efficiently because JNT and Ninja Van is doing it okay so I don't see for a big company like LBC I don't see any excuse why they can't like step up or something so yes yun ang how do you call that yeah for yeah, it's so hard to rely on our government, <laughs> right? So it's like, um, everyone is like on its own. So if we could just like be a little more responsible for each other, that's it. Bye.